from Indianapolis. Uh, I belong to the same organization Larry belongs to. What's the name of it? The uh, Committee for the Coalition of, uh, what is it? Community. 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 Is that a socialist organization? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, yeah, and I'm not ashamed of it. Good. Amen. <laughs> uh, this has been, this conference so far, it's been, it's trying to make me a pessimist and it's also invigorating. <laughs> so, anyhow, uh, I'm a victim of my past. I'm 82 years old. I've got a lot, i got 82 years of past. Uh, I've lived I was born, born during the Depression. Uh, I experienced the uh, Roosevelt years, and I know I'm aware of what Roosevelt did to get us on, get this country on the move. And so, uh, and the movement has not regionally to have national impact. So, following up with I think Tom Healy was saying, when we asserted assert the Indiana presence, like says, get out of Iraq now. Uh, that makes a difference. That, that speaks to the country. That, that says that it's not just the, the liberals in New York or the West Coast or whatever. Um, so that's two things. And the third thing is material support that we can provide to each other in uh, speaker tours and this kind of thing. And that, that's one of the things I think we can uh, best do and I would like to see the network do more of uh, is uh, having uh, speakers, <coughs> veterans, uh, nationally recognized uh, people uh, on these different issues go around the state and, and uh, we can share the expenses if we have to bring these people from out of, uh, you know, out of our area and we can share uh, the publicity, you know, we have, you know, some, some resources and experience in publicizing things. Uh, we've done this successfully in the past, you know, we've had a great uh, tour of Anne Wright uh, He's a former military anti-war person. Uh, Cindy Sheehan, uh, uh, we want to work with... Probably what I think would be the best thing to do is to set up a truth squad or information post because the uh, regular news media is capitalist, uh, is controlled by the fascist corporate uh, network. So there needs to be a truth squad that investigates what's real and post it so everybody knows exactly what's happening. And then another thing that would be helpful would be to have symposiums or forums where people could get together to discuss uh, what they think about things that are happening. Um, and then a third thing would be uh, a reevaluation of government structure. For instance, uh, Thomas Paine thought that, that people would love to serve their country free of charge. And I think it's just the opposite that we've got. And, uh, um, the other thing is when these guys commit crimes, instead of getting uh, to go to a golf country club prison, they need the worst of prisons, maximum security, and uh, they need to be punished for their crimes, and that would help clean up the government. That's all. That's all. All right. First of all, let, let me say that uh, I've been to Community Faith and Labor Coalition uh, meetings. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Jennifer Cobb. Um, I'm also <clears throat> on the board of uh, CURE, which stands for Community. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus, I don't know lost words. Uh, CURE. Uh, let me. Okay. I'm also on the board of another group. I'll get this one together. Um, <clears throat> Indiana Information Center on the uh, Abolition of Capital Punishment. And um, I also have my own um, corporation. It's called Ann Justice for All. It's a client-based advocacy organization. What we do is we help people in need. Our services are free. Use your internet power. To get <coughs> Somebody's going to show up at the field house on April 15th. Let's make that a test of our organizing power. So let's see how many people we can show up. And frankly, what you want to do is do a joke comedy act. That's the response now to George W. Bush. Make a joke out of it and see, and see how the media eats it up. 
Stop worrying about the media. The media needs to have jokes. That's what Sarah Palin's doing. <coughs> Sarah Palin goes around makes you up, makes you up jokes about herself. Bad jokes. It, 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 it gets her free media time. She makes jokes about herself. Uh, what's the right wing going to come up with next? Uh, Venezuela and Hugo Chavez are now talking about the media. Venezuela is 40% of our import chemicals huh? and energy and crude oil. That's Just sitting here questioning whether or not what our level of participation would be in this network, so I need to tell you guys what we need because I think it's a lot more than all of that. But part of it is to hold people accountable. Um, I think in Indiana we don't talk enough about race, class, and power, and there needs to be someone reminding everybody that we don't talk about that. Um, I think what you said is accountability. There's no one reminding us to be accountable to the things that we think are important, uh, both to ourselves and to the people that we um, direct our anger toward. And I think the other thing is, um, I want to win. And so I think that it's time to start going on the offensive to win some things for working people, to win some things to pe for people who are oppressed, to win some things that then will result in some of the secondary things that aren't just about basic needs and a paycheck and ability to take care of your kids, um, that will then help some of you, I think, who um, I can't get involved with because I'm just so focused on the fact that people are um, abused in the workplace and their paycheck doesn't pay their bills. Um, not bills they've created on credit, but bills like rent and food. And I think that that's part of it, that everybody has to find their self-interest that connects us all, um, and we don't spend time doing that. You know, I think that it, there's too much work to do. I'm, I'm the only coalition in the state that has a staff person. And I talked about this at lunch, but uh, you know, the right wing has such an uh, easy time of getting people to support their message. The Tea Party showed this, and just appeal to people's selfishness your sense of superiority, and you kind of hook them in, and then you throw in your uh, moralistic uh, uh, pseudo religion uh, to kind of layer that all over with a uh, and make you feel moral about being selfish and uh, uh, superior. So, what we have to find, and, and Allison br brings up, I'm glad to see people bringing up the concept of uh, finding, helping people to find their real and their true self-interest. You know, my, my way of saying that is we take care of ourselves but take care of each other. You know, that way I'm looking out for number one when I get involved in this kind of stuff. But uh, to spread that to the public, you've got to find a populist message. And that is finding a populist uh, uh, framing for the messages we have so that people can understand how they're taking care of themselves and their family uh, by supporting the work we do to help them take care of themselves and their family. But anyway, um, that I hear. But I feel like whenever there's something interesting happening, it's always off campus and it's hard for students to do that. And so we have three facilities on campus as a student organization. And so we can even get funding for some of these things that happen. And so I feel like if you really want students to be more involved in what's happening, um, it would be better to actually have those events here on campus. If you're bringing somebody who's um, any kind of issue that you're involved in and you're bringing a speaker from out of town or something, we have great facilities over here that we could actually utilize for free. And then maybe because it's so close, the students are gonna show up. Because um, unfortunately, people want it to be easy and so my, my motto is always make it easy for the students, make it easy. Make it so that they don't even have to like move really far, it's right there and hopefully they'll They'll go to it. So my suggestion would be for all the organizations that are out here and are planning stuff and want students to come, just contact us and then we'll try and get a space on campus and hopefully that way students are going to come. Because I feel like the outside community is going to show up to your event, they're going to drive there. So <coughs> if you just bring it on campus, the outside groups will still come, but then you get students involved.